going to be giving away the last couple of awards. Um, and Haley and Shannon from Ecom are going to be doing that. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'm going to do that at the, okay, yeah. Sorry, still getting myself together here. Um, Haley and uh, Shannon Harding from the Clean Foundation are fantastic and wonderful and have been a really big part in making this conference happen. I could not have done this without your sage wisdom and your get up and do itness. I'm really, really grateful to have been working with you for the past, I don't even know how many months on this huge project. Um, and I can't wait to listen to what you've got to say. Hi, everyone. You get to listen to me first. So as Zomi mentioned, my name is Shannon. And Zomi, thank you so much for all of your beautiful hosting and all of the work that went into this amazing conference. Uh, it has been a ride of knowledge and collaboration and has just, I can't wait to continue the rest of the day. I get the honor of presenting our second to last Ecom Award. So for those who may have missed some of the earlier Ecom Awards during this conference, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a background on it. Created in 1995, Ecom has been celebrating outstanding contributions to the field of environmental education and communication for decades. A feat for sure. Our somewhat grassroots beginning at the, of the environmental movement has led us all collectively to a huge community across Canada. It's an honor and a lot of fun, not only to have, be a member of the board, but to take part in presenting to one of the eight awards that are presented annually to deserving individuals and organizations. We weigh our nominees in five categories. So when anybody is brought forward, we look at commitment to the advancement of environmental education and communication. We looked at their impact as a tangible and potentially long lasting agent of change. We look at collaboration through work with individuals, organizations, and communities, and of course, mentorship through fostering understandings, ethics, skills, and or actions in others. And then finally at innovation by displaying courage and originality in the design, retaliation, and development of environmental education and communication. You can find more information on our website at ecom.org slash awards. And Haley will tell us a little bit more about the next step at the very end. But before I introduce Haley and pass over to her, I would like to take the honor to present the Ecom Award for Outstanding Post-Secondary Institution to Lakehead University. Lakehead University's Faculty of Education has a large contingent of faculty members at both the Thunder Bay and Aurelia campuses who are deeply committed to environmental education and communication. Mm -hmm. Collectively, they've made significant contributions to research on a wide range of environmental education topics over the years. The commi their commitment is reflected in the fact that the mm -hmm. faculty has hosted the Canadian Journal for Environmental Education for 20 years. I'm sure we're all familiar with that excellent resource. This passion for environmental education can be felt throughout all of the programs the faculty offers. The doctoral program has welcomed many students over the years who have focused on environmental education, and these alumni have gone on to be leaders in post-secondary institutions across Canada, Australia, and the United States. The innovative Master of Education program in the Education for Change with its specialization in environment and sustainability education has proven to be extremely popular. Besides the required foundations of environmental and sustainability education course, students in that master's program can choose from an, an impressive variety of electives, including activism and education, animals and education, climate change education, critical food education, critical indigenous pedagogies, ecological consciousness, environmental philosophies and education, holistic and, contem and contemplative education, outdoor education, place-based education, science, technology, society, and environmental education, and wild pedagogies. The Bachelor of Education program integrates environmental education in many ways as well. The Faculty of Education was the first in Ontario to require all undergraduate students to take a course in environmental education. In addition, students have opportunities to take a variety of elective courses to enhance their environmental learning. 
the longstanding OE3 outdoor experiential ecological education specialization combined an environmental science course with a course focused on community involvement and has included activities such as canoe trips, outdoor education field trips, action projects, and at least one student place teaching placement with an outdoor environmental education focus. Another popular elective is the Teaching Climate Change course, the only one of its kind currently being offered by a faculty of education in all of Canada. In addition, environmental education content has been integrated in a variety of other undergraduate education courses, including Indigenous education, geography, health and phys ed, language arts, social studies, and science education courses. One more exciting innovation, because the list is long, is the development of the faculty's Aki based programming. Aki is the Anishinaabeg word for land that also incorporates the earth, water, air, and spirit. First piloted in 2019 in the Masters of Education program, the faculty is now collaborating with a number of First Nations to co-develop and deliver community and Aki based learning in both the graduate and undergraduate programs. As the list of the individuals in the Faculty of Education at, Lake, at Lakehead who deserve recognition stretches far beyond what we have time for, we simply wish to congratulate all the past, current, and current faculty and staff from Lakehead who contributed to the cumulative impact of their programs. Thank you so much for the work that you've been doing and for the commitment that you have to environmental education and communication at Lakehead University. As far as I'm aware, nobody from Lakehead was able to attend today. However, if I get to be surprised, please take a moment to step forward now if you have a couple of words to say. In their absence, I'd like to invite everyone to just do a little clap and a big thank you to Lakehead University for the work that they're doing to further environmental education in Canada. And I'm gonna pass it on to Haley to present the last Ecom Award of this conference. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, that's so exciting. So beautiful. I love these awards as an opportunity to celebrate all the great work that's happening across the country. Um, and I am so excited to be um, and honored to be presenting the final award of the conference, um, the Outstanding Youth Action Leader Award. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? <laughs> So I'd like to present this year's Outstanding Youth Action Leader Award to Ray Landrio. Ray Landrio is committed to environmental education. Their community-based nonprofit organization, Create Change Collective, or C3, is focused on outreach and education. Ray believes that people will protect what they care about, meets people where they are at, and educates them in, for, and about the environment, inspiring them to take action. Through monthly projects, Ray engages community members in discussions to accelerate the sustainability movement. C3 projects address a wide range of environmental topics and empower people to explore and take action. In 2022, Ray developed and implemented, wait for it, 12 community projects. They established partnerships with OceanWise, Youth Climate Lab, Unaterra, Impact Hub Ottawa, Rising Youth, Taking It Global, Generation SDG, and the United Nations Association of Canada, and apparently also others. That's a lot. Their Running Water Project generated a 40-page activity book on water education, climate action, and Indigenous knowledge, and was distributed nationally with handmade word searches, crosswords, coloring and spot the difference pages. I love that. Ray has spoken about their work and the importance of community action, inspiring actions that make a difference. Ray works diligently to make environmental education and action accessible by disseminating and mobilizing knowledge in person and online. Ray works to develop projects to engage communities and to help provide them with opportunities to take actions that matter and that make a difference. Ray designs learning experiences using visual media, written work, videos, and tactile strategies. Ray's media is accessible. Their ex engagement approaches have varied from in-person activities, online workshops, and speaker events, to individual activity books that enable people to learn at their own pace. Ray strives to ensure diversity, equity, inclusion, accessibility, and belonging are 
the forefront of their work. And as our youngest award recipient by a long shot, we thank Ray for being an inspiring role model and leader for the next generation of change makers. So keep it up for us and for the planet. Um, round of applause for Ray. Thank you so much. And if I'm correct, I believe Ray is here today and I'd love to invite Ray to, to say a few words if you'd like and if you're in the room. Yes, I am in the room. Um, I'm just like completely blown away that the work that I do have, has been recognized in this way. And I'm just like, can't thank my partners enough um, because none of the work that I do would have the impact that it does without people buying into it and wanting to participate and engage and learn together and really work on this as a collective. Um, so I'm just so incredibly thankful for this honor. Um, just so happy to be here. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Ray, for joining today and for being here and for all of the work, the amazing work that you do. Keep it up and thank you for everything that you do. I am going to close out the Ecom Awards this year with a reminder that these are not just a one-time thing. As Shannon said, these happen all the time and are an important way to recognize the amazing work that happens across our country. So if seeing these incredible award recipients this year made you think, I know somebody who also deserves this recognition, we invite you to make sure that your Ecom membership is up to date and that you're following Ecom on all the social media channels and newsletters so that you know when these awards are coming around the next time in the future, because we all know that it's amazing to celebrate this important work and we probably all know someone who uh, is doing something that deserves recognition. So a huge congratulations to all of this year's award recipients um, and uh, follow Ecom, get your Ecom membership. And uh, any last words there, Shannon? I do actually, with your attendance to this conference, everybody receives an Ecom membership for the next year. So please check those emails that come through and make sure to nominate some more amazing participants, some amazing educators, uh, some amazing contributors to the environmental education world uh, for next year's awards. Thank you everyone for the work that you're doing and to everyone here at the conference this week for striving to learn more, for wanting to engage with other amazing organizations and just creating a beautiful and collaborative space.